Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, I think you should be able to. Yeah, perfect. Can you can you pop up the chat so we can see? Hi James, how are you? We're good. We're good. We're, We're great. Good. We're great. We're sitting in the office and uh yeah, this is going to be very exciting for us uh because we haven't been streaming in a very long time. Indeed. And um for the occasion of the one year anniversary of early access uh of good good companies early access on steam we we decided to make like a yeah like a special occasion stream and since dominic and i we uh, see each other very re regularly in, in in the in the office we we thought it would be nice to do it together and and yeah kind of recap um the past month, months, even maybe more. Uh, yeah, than I that. think I think it would be fun to to start uh, with the early access launch. And yeah. The, okay. Uh, like long time ago. It, it yeah. feels like it feels much longer than. Yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> Yeah, you. Oh. We are hearing. We we are hearing you, but oh, maybe. but our desktop is, is is muted. I'm sorry. Now, now, James. Now, yeah. You should say well, and it should be desktop audio. Then we have to change the device. Here. Yeah. Properties. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, the USB. The USB, the last one. So sorry that we muted James. We didn't know. Can you say something? No. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Because we have so many devices there. Ah, just another device. Yeah, another device. device. Oh, oh, this sounds good. Yeah, now you should also hear the music. And if James says something, uh, then we can hear him. Hey, everybody! This is uh, another test. Is that working for everyone? Yeah, we need to, we need to turn it down a little bit because it's clipping. But perfect. perfect. Okay. Yeah, I was asking James how he's how he's doing, and and then we dismissed it on the chat. That, uh, Spoilers! I'm doing good. Yeah, he's doing good. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the for the little hiccup here, but yeah, it's it's we haven't done it in a long long time. Yes. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, um, so James, uh, if you if you want to inter interject whenever uh, you want, just uh, just interrupt us and uh, yeah, talk. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Yeah, I, I will. I'll let you guys work your magic, and uh, yeah, I'll chip in uh, with anything as we go. Yeah. Cool. So, how well, did it start? Do you remember? Well, I I just start a game and uh, yeah, just, just, maybe we we ah. can. Let's start with the first map. Yeah, we have with the first, first one was the circuit planes. This one, tiny one, it was quite big when we started. <laughs> it was like like a really big patch and a lot of. Uh, yeah, a lot of space and we thought nobody will exceed this space and then we were very wrong <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll set it to sandbox so that i can try out stuff and, and show you things yeah. okay so yeah we also started starting with a head start because i i cheated oh right we have a lot of conveyor stuff we have a lot of money we have a lot of everything but and we can't build everything no, we can't. But we but can. We can unlock everything. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's good. Cool. It's just, just, uh, just for for us, so we can just, you know, show off, show off all the features without, you know, playing twenty hours because the stream won't be twenty. Um. Yeah. So. So um, in the beginning, this was the per, uh, the only possible perspective. You had to walk around. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that was one of the first uh, things you. Uh, oh my god, I remember. That changed. Oh, we yeah, that was like 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 I made it in a quite a rush, 
and I remember that the most annoying thing people were as soon as we, as we launched like all the reports came in because all the people play, uh, bought and played the game and and then we decided okay we need a free camera we can't or else our ratings will drop even further and I sat down and, and planned it pretty quickly in a very quick uh, sprint and yeah it, it's it worked out quite nicely I'm so really, really happy that it that I figured out the solution for this so the solution is simply now you can actually move the camera mm. with the cursor key and right mouse button yeah the right drag is something a lot of games don't get right actually because there are many games where you have like a map where you can scroll uh pan, pan the view uh but the mouse doesn't grab the position of of the world it just kind of just takes the the, the, the motion of the mouse and s somehow applies it to the camera move. ah so that the, the mouse cursor isn't placed exactly over over one place yeah exactly yeah when i moved it's the it's, same one that's feels very we weird sometimes and not, yeah. nothing at coming but in other games i i tried this out so yes yeah. there's, there's a particular trick to it and very stumped when i figured it out i think quick hire also wasn't a thing no no that came much later so you could look through them and they they did in the beginning they did uh, cost uh, different uh, different amounts of g per day they were random and people didn't like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's also something for future oh this yeah, doesn't spoilers. work <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we will talk about this uh that's the bug yeah. it's a bug no it's it's oh it's this not. one that's right <laughs> it's the wrong, it's I'm, the wrong I'm the bug <laughs> no bugs yet <laughs> Um, yeah, but there are still bugs in the game, uh, yeah. and we we are still working on it. And, um, it's, it it has still a lot, lot of things to do. I'm just taking a quick quick uh, peek at the chat. What? So Seppa is there. Hello Seppa. Hello Tosido. Long time no see, and. Gwen, Gwen is also there. Oh, hi! Awesome, hi, all, Gwen. All the old, the old gang. The, the old gang is is, is getting assembled. the gang back together. Yeah, yeah. Man, so so many, uh, so many people we haven't seen for a long time. But Seppa is always there. Seppa is it's like the the right. He's the, also in the Discord all the time. <laughs> Seppa is very active. We really appreciate it. So what happened. is the what are you going for here, Dominic? Like, what is the? Well, I always start. Plan? I always start with the the modules that I'm going to need, or the product that I'm going to design, which will be a super simple calculator. Just uh, just keep it simple, basic. So I will need a plastic case, or is it a simple case? A simple, simple case, and uh, LED strip. What is it called? LED array. And I want to have single cell battery. And this way, by starting with the, the modules, I have no, no downtime down in revenue. Except it's, it's not that, that uh, good right now. I will. Some inventories. Inventories. That's also a, a big thing that we changed is the logistics, right? Yeah. yeah. Still remember this this view? Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I remember. You, you remember? Let's game it out. Yes. And and yeah. Uh, I, f I I forgot his name. I forget what uh, what his name is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, the person who does the Let's Game It Out YouTube channel, uh, they got he, he got his hands on good company. Josh, thank you, Josh. Um, and I was yesterday. I was on a on a online meeting. Um, 
with other game developers because we were nominated for an animated games award here in, in the region and and they asked me about josh because they remember this this is uh, let's play and he he also said hey oh, if, you, if you like connections you will love this game and i was like of, of course very sarcastically um and <laughs> And that also was was another driver for us to say, okay, we need something more convenient, something like. That. So we. Yeah. yeah. Congrats on that nomination, by the way. Oh, I thanks. Don't whether, I don't know whether you, I've ever said that to you guys, uh, yeah, face to face. Um, what is it? Is it a local Stuttgart? Um, yeah, it's called the ITFS. It's it's an international. Uh, what's it called? ITFS. What's it's the acronym international called? trick film festival? Trick film. Trick film is animated film in German. Trick film is, is like any yeah. Mm, nice. The more and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so the the games part is actually pretty new. I think three or four years, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's also if uh, you might be more familiar if you if you from from the from an visual effects. Um, if you if you're active in the visual effects area, you might know the FMX, which is actually globally known. There are a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of people travel to Stuttgart for this, and and the ITFS is like like during the FMX so together with the. FMX. It used to be. I'm not sure if it still is. If it's like separated, in the past it was definitely like in, in the same time uh, time frame. Yeah, I think it, it still is. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so so this is very exciting for us, but the com competition is quite uh, quite tough. Uh, Lost Ember, the the, the uh, people who did Lost Ember got also nominated, and they had like this really fantastic trailer that blew me away. They showed it yesterday as. Well. Screw those guys. That's, you know, that's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks. Um, uh, Scorpion says, uh, Hi, I was actually watching the festival's live stream a couple of days ago. Gameplay looks super cute. I love the environment. Thank you. Thanks. I will forward this to our our artists, uh, Joanna and uh, great job. Visuals. And every time we, they come with up with something new, it's, uh, it's blowing me away. <laughs> Uh, Just video has like 6.2 million views. <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me if this this had impact on on sales, and fortunately didn't. I think a little, a little, a, a little, little, little bump, but it, not nothing like uh, like crazy. <laughs> but it's still fun to see someone dissecting your game and shredding it into pieces in so many fun. Yeah, so right. everything, everything's a learning opportunity, eh? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And we are not not like like because some developers are like uh, they try to fix everything, every every contingency. You know, they try try to they are, they get really grumpy when they see people destroying their game. But we kind of have well, very open minded about this, and well, we we do try to fix. Yeah, we try we try <laughs> to fix bugs, but yeah. if if you know, if you have, if you're very opinionated about your game design and want yeah. to, yes, you're playing it wrong, you know, and then uh, I, I'm changing mechanics so you can't do the fun things anymore. It's not very productive. <clears throat> yeah, so maybe we should talk about the current uh, 09 update. Um, what what were the biggest changes? Oh, you're going with three. I know this is. Oh, I thought one for each surplus oh yeah you're right are oh. you make are you making money with your product no no not yet okay oh they don't get now they get sold <laughs> so I'm, I'm waiting for the grand strategy to reveal itself wow potential sales one yeah the, the that's a lot <laughs> well <laughs> I mean, this week I'm I'm in the bus, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
James asked about the grand strategy. Is there any, or I'll just just, just ca casually like just winging it. Well, I I will do some uh, in thing about cheated stuff. Is your uh, I I actually don't need to do any analysis, so maybe I shouldn't even bother. <laughs> oh oh no! You looked at your data points and then you decided to scrap everything. Okay, <laughs> you could just but research I, stuff. I, yeah, I will waste the search points away. Yeah, that's fine. Project. Yeah. Yeah, and this is also the, the current uh, 4.9 uh, build, but the beta branch, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did change some priorities in the logistics. Should uh, should work pretty well. Oh, can you give us some details on this? Because I remember, because when you go into the work zone mode, you have like all these connections, right? And as far as I understood it, um, the, there is there is like a scoring system for every connection. So the logistics employees, they look at every connection and they have to make a decision which one, which connection gets for, uh, served first, right? So, and, and the calculation, calculation of that score it has changed. Yeah, so before it was super simple. Uh, it was simply looking at at the uh, fill percentage of the source inventory and the fill percentage of the target inventory of a, of every connection, basically, and where the the difference was uh, where the difference was the largest uh, amount this connection got the most score so okay. i mean so if you have like a, like a completely empty shelf and a completely full shelf this this shelf will get yeah prioritized so if the source shelf is completely full and the target shelf is completely empty it will get prioritized and that would uh, unfortunately also prior prioritize uh, things like these uh, module sales even though I need the modules here in quite a good amount. These would get prioritized because they are empty every yeah, every they're, week. Yeah, they're sold every week. Yeah. And also with uh, conveyor belts, if, if the conveyor belt start is always empty because it gets transported away right away, and so it would always get very high priority. And so the system now, um, first of all, it's not not linear anymore so if something is really empty it's it gets more score than if something is only quarter full also almost empty so it, get, it gets uh, more score if it's really empty and also the the emptiness uh, gets a little bit more uh, score than the fill build state so yeah so that uh, when when they really need something uh, they get 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 something even if the, the source inventory isn't mm -hmm. that full and uh, we tinkered around with the pallet so if something gets only sold on a pallet it gets a pretty high score too so that the end products in this case get transported to the uh, the pallet and but if something gets used also in your zone and not only only sold like these modules here on the pallet i only want to sell the surplus then they the, the score is uh, hmm. gets le less yeah so. yeah you you are mentioned you... Oh, sorry so yeah james go ahead oh sorry i was going to ask how are you guys finding the change like yeah um yeah, given given this is an imp improvement of a system, how are you guys finding it? I think it's uh, it's very good. It, it worked very well in a in a setup like this. Um, well, I mean now now I have how many logistics employees do I have? I have two logistics employees. The the real value of the the new system comes when there are bottlenecks, and I think with two logistics employees, it's not that much of a bottleneck I can but I can even hire one sorry science he didn't go 
Oh, sorry. Yeah. So uh, she's and leaving it, here. She just yeah. left here. And it will uh, it will still work. They're, they will probably miss some things. I really should add another out here because there's not enough space to sell all the products all the things that and with that demand you you so <laughs> now he he took the products because they they have a pretty high priority yeah it's still it's still in in testing right so yeah, we're still trying out and seeing and evaluating if, if the change really uh what the benefits are what the the overall overall experience is was positive yes yeah and you touched on good com uh, good company here yeah. you touched on uh, conveyor belts but there are coming changes to this as well but more on that later i'll save save that for later we're going to have to make a little outlook uh, later on the stream um did we have conveyor belts when we launched into early access did we have their belts? No, That's, we didn't. We added them later. It but, feels like they have been in there forever, but uh, yes, we did. Uh, Mark says we did. I'm I'm confused about when, what when came when. Things. It's it's really, it's really. Yeah, you like, guys had a you had a simple version, right, of conveyors that were sort of fairly fairly rudimentary that then got expanded upon and. Uh, yeah. yeah, you definitely have improved and updated them during early access, but I think there was some base version of them when we launched. Yeah, they're still problematic. We know that, and we always tell tell the players we know that they are even though they are a little bit broken, and we know that um, we know what to do about it as well. So we, are, we have plans, and we I will I will explain them later in detail. Um, but I think we should talk about the changes, the most recent changes to 0.9 because this is this is the, the biggest thing that came uh, was was the tutorial, right? Yes. And uh, yeah, it's it. I, I really underestimated how hard it is to make a good tutorial. And we also had a lot of support from Tick, uh, like like game designers, like making suggestions and like big designs and we kind of had to uh yeah pick the best because because there was so much uh, so much stuff we could improve and the the most the most effective things were like a highlighting system uh with the tutorials also came an entirely new story in the campaign so the campaign got changed it got got split tutorial steps got 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 uh, um, distributed across all the levels all, all the first levels in campaign so the, so the learning comes with the progressions and um, and the gating was quite a big big thing of that so, so certain systems only get available after a certain time or a certain point in the game and also the the highlighting system yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. Uh, that's just like, yeah, but I, but I didn't didn't explain what it is actually. <laughs> so we have the possibility to 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 just tell the 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 UI which which items should be uh, should be marked as hey you have to click on this like like there's a little big circle not a little circle big one that kind of points into this direction because if we used to have a, like a more subtle highlighting and and. And it was one-dimensional, or it only highlighted one thing. And yeah. now we can actually highlight a specific thing inside some yeah in a hierarchy menu. in a hierarchy. Like and click it, on this it, menu in this menu, click on this button. Yeah. When this button opens, a uh, dialog in this dialog, click on this item. I think that that helps a lot. Yeah, That's absolutely. Because really cool. you could just just click on the highlights. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the task list as well. It's a, bit, a big part of the tutorial update, yeah. right? Like, yeah. you know, being able to give player sort of slightly more long, yeah, certainly as the tutorial progresses, longer term goals that they can track. Um, and uh, yeah, always refer back to in terms of like, where, what are they doing? Why, why am I doing the tutorial step that I am on? Um, there's always a little reminder. So, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, so yeah, huge piece of work. Um, and yeah, hopefully and everybody is enjoying it. And a lot of writing as well. Yeah. <laughs> and you helped us a lot with the, with the wording. It was pretty helpful to have you guys uh, checking all the stuff. Because we are not native speakers, you, you might have guessed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, language support is all. We are very grateful. And yes, um, speaking of the, the, the to-do list, we used to have in the very, very early versions of Good Company, we had the to-do list yeah. as well. But it was something very different. It was very un unflexible. It was, I mean, it was flexible in its own, own way because it was related to, um, you, could, you could say, I want to build this item and then you could print out like a like a like a little uh, post-it note with the steps for it and it tracked your steps even yeah um, but it was not very flexible in terms of uh you couldn't script it or anything it was in the system it was very integrated yeah and what it was very very basic so mm. it, it really like more like the steps that that an employee has to do so pick up item there there and uh, use 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 this machine and yeah and, uh, uh, by the way mark also mentioned we had conveyors uh, regarding the old conveyors but we didn't have the overhead conveyors so you would have to build like you know you, you were, were yeah. not as flexible you couldn't build them build bridges or anything and we didn't have the stores and polos um, which allow you to carry you have full stuff on the belt directly from the shelf and yeah he also asks uh, about maybe showing some of the levels uh, yeah we can we can we can switch later uh definitely let's um, save this wonderful game save this uh yeah economic masterpiece that dominic has created <laughs> okay. um campaign Oh, you want to show a level? I think he, he said level, like from the campaign maybe. From the new level? Well, we can we can, yeah, we can show the... Oh, but the problem is that I haven't unlocked any of them. So we should have, we would have to play the campaign from the start. So maybe we should just uh, show off features instead. Well, I can, let, let's dive can, into what we what we. Yeah, said we can, we can show, we which, can show uh, uh, part of the tutorial, what it looks like. So. Yeah, this is one big thing that that you have like like this. Um... Yeah, Marcus Wright, just show, show level one. Um, this is one big yeah, thing. Th yeah, yeah, this this currently on the screen is actually pretty yeah pretty key as well. Like sort of interstitial information, giving like a breakout of uh, manual information that then becomes sort of like these you know pop ups with video clips and things on the screen uh, and obviously this one is talking about the most basic of basics it's the yeah. controls um but yeah it really helps to convey some of the more uh yeah uh unique aspects of the title like for example logis logistics and things um, so yeah there's a huge sort of aspect of the tutorial and here's you, you see the the to-do list that uh, uh james mentioned and it just yeah guides you through all the basic movement stuff and then it gets complex, uh, more and more complex over the time. And it gives you another piece of, of information and shows you how selling works. How it... no, not buying and selling. This is like uh, this is about inventory management, interaction with. Um, and on the top, you can see that. Um, all the elements are grayed out. They are just gated. It's not a big, big thing that you that you're not overwhelmed as a new player with all these all these things. I have to explore all of them and maybe even uh, interfere with with the with the flow of the tutorial. When you change something and the tutorial cannot reference a certain thing, then it falls apart. You can't you can't restore this state. So that's that's why we had to be very restrictive. And we thought in, in the past we were very naive and thought, oh, yeah, we just give give the people all the freedom they, they can and 
people got actually lost. People really uh, complain about not understanding the game and it's too much to understand. So proper tutorialization was something we really underestimated at the beginning of. Fast forward wasn't all, also wasn't in there when we yes. lost. Yes, and, and fast forward and pause. I can tell you why. Uh, we I remember all the all the discussions <laughs> about it. Uh, there was um, there was a notion here in the team that um, if you have a fast forward button in your in your simulation game, uh, something's wrong with your design, right? That was that was a, a sentence that was thrown around a lot. Sounds uh, stupid. Hindsight. Hindsight. It sounds, it sounds very stupid. But I remember me saying it, and I remember you saying it, <laughs> because we thought, okay, maybe we we have to adapt our our um, gameplay loops for that, you know, uh, because then we don't give enough uh, stuff to do to the, to the player. The thing is, we had a pause. One of the players to have the opportunity to just, you know. Play casually, pause the game, and then have an over get an overview of the situation, get all get in all the data, and then make a, an, an informed decision. But as soon as you do that, player has the op the option to do all the actions while the pause is active, right? And if if they resume the game, um, then nothing's nothing's there to do anymore. And that's a problem. That's why you need need to fast forward and I remember that that we uh, that there were other team members who opposed the our our uh, intent to not add a fast forward and yeah I feel I felt very sorry hindsight and then I, I saw Don Joe playing and he used a cheat engine and oh, simply yeah. uh, <laughs> did his own fast forward yeah people people will will cheat their stuff uh, the features when they uh, when they are missing, so it was quite quite inter interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was an, it was an early update, right? It, was, it came out quite quickly after mm. uh, early access launched. Um, yeah. It was one of the sort of one of the first sort of small incremental feature rollouts, on the fast forward option. Yeah. Yes, and the the. Um campaign levels they changed a lot as well and they are also a lot of work to change actually when something when a new system comes in you need to find ways to incorporate them um, uh, in, into into the campaign to to teach them of course and it should come in 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 a given order and because in the past we designed systems um, Kind of independently of where where they where, where they fit into the progression, right? Just okay, we need a, we need something to do this, so we just add it. But when does the player learn it? When does does the player get to know the feature? Uh, and yeah, that that was problematic because when when features depend on each other, kind of don't know where to start, where where the entry point is. You, know? you have to know a lot of things. Um, at once to to grab to get a grasp on what's going on, and this is something yeah. we try to to avoid. Yeah, this is I mean this is a great opportunity, right, to sort of actually showcase all of the different changes that you guys have made during early access, and sort of like just do that refresh on the tutorial. For example, when I mean, we're watching here, sell orders, buy orders, the career palette, the whole flow of logistics, ultimately was an ev evolution during early access, and this sort of like tutorial reset is an opportunity to be like hey let's re-explain again how the game currently works catch everybody up to speed uh, on all the changes that have happened uh, over the last uh, almost year or so uh, mm, that's so yeah. pre pretty pretty much exactly a, le a, a year yeah i mean we were we went into early access on, on april yeah 2020 that's why this is mystery stream yeah <laughs> right oh my god i didn't notice <laughs> No, uh, yeah, absolutely, and um, the career palette was also, um, yeah, we went a lot back and forth a lot with, with yeah, uh, how things get bored and so. The work zones weren't a thing. Mm -hmm. That was actually the, the first big update after after the after access, yeah. zones. 
we had work cells in before early access you could you yeah. could place like rectangular zones and you could equip them with furniture and those zones they were also areas basically uh they had slots for uh, for employees but they were very complex to to set up and i remember we made a video for a german uh magazine and we were showing showing the um the old zone system and looking back it was very convoluted very hard not to understand was that yeah. the that was the demo that we we first played before we came on board right the, nice. with the we were set in this very this similar level right and you had the grandma character and, yes yes yeah. yes exactly yeah it's funny how all, all these ideas sort of come around a bit a little, a little cyclical in that sense right like you know the, the zone idea yeah. had it percolated on your side in some form in an earlier in an earlier time it goes mm. away again and then ends up you know coming back in all of its glory later on yeah uh, a far better version of itself as well so yeah sometimes ideas need a little time just to sit yeah. oh uh reminder for mark we had a raffle for uh for our um yeah we 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 raffled keys right uh, yeah. for a good company yeah and people who retweeted um the the some tweets for this, uh, for this stream and yes so let's see us things yeah. run in the background and like... then can then we can uh Okay, let's see. So they have been. They, they, there was a very random process for that. I think Mark just sent us some. Ah, there they are. Three winners. Okay. So the first winner is uh, Maker Guy Two. Uh, maybe we should we should write in the chat as well. I don't know. Um, those are the Twitter handles, by the way. Uh, the second winner is Daryl Lindsay Nine, and the third winner is uh, Zeriano for Fifty Five. All these numbers. Yes, um, I mean, internet is large, you know. <laughs> A lot of people, so numbers to be. Yeah, they are. They they are. They are also in the chat. Those are the winners. They will get the key. A key for a good company. <laughs> and nice congratulations, everybody. Yeah, congratulations. Um, I hope you enjoy the game. Uh, uh, if you don't have it already, what will we do we do if they have already have it? <laughs> they can give it to a friend. Yeah, they can. They can. They can give it away. Gift. And yeah, share the good company love. Yes. Yeah. And also, we get a reminder to maybe, maybe slowly switch to the 0.10 uh, game. So let's do that. Let's look into the current state of the game, uh, which is our yeah, sneak previews. Sneak preview, yeah. Scary. Or slightly broken uh, working copy. <laughs> Guys. Uh, nothing, Let's but it's fine. We will soon be back with good. The silent anticipation of the of the new version. What's it going to look like? It's uh, totally different. Yeah. It's first person now. Yeah. Turn based, first person, strategic shooter. <laughs> Coming back. Should we? Should... Oh no, no. It it takes a while. <laughs> Never get, I'm gonna give you up, start play. <laughs> so you rickrolled me a few times, I think. <laughs> Was it you, Seppo? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Here's the big difference. That's a big difference. The version 4.10. 
It's the fourth incarnation on Steam for us, for internal and stuff. Jack Mayo, hello. Hi, Carrots. Uh, game looks fantastic already. Greetings from our neighbor. Oh? From our neighbor? Right, right, right here somewhere? <laughs> Yeah, welcome or, to the stream and thanks. Or Gamescom. Gamescom neighbor, all right. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't recognize this. This is a new map, right? Ah, right. It's the, the summer version. Summer version of the winter map. Of the winter map. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's let's check it out, yes. Box. Yeah, a lot of maps got added. Um Here we are now. Let's let's check out the the UI. What what changed? What are the changes? Uh, look, yeah yeah yeah, you found it. There it is. There is a happiness score for the employees, and um, yeah, it's it's. Let let me explain. <laughs> if you hire a few people, or just play, just play. We we will see this later. As will, soon as you hire people, we will. I will divide this because they immediately get unhappy with it. Yeah, yeah. It's better too. Okay. So um, employees have two big features now. They have uh, they have a happiness. They get happier or, or unhappier based on environmental circumstances like um, which decoration is there how big is my zone um, what what uh, equipment is uh, located near me is it loud is it, is it noisy or not it's like kind of very simplistic um, and you will also see some missing icons as well like this buff icons here uh, which says lucky crafting this is also like a like a, a buff that this employee shouldn't have yeah this is still still not still in the making but it's also inactive so. yeah hmm. yeah this is a this is a sneak peek at in progress work right mm. yeah and the bar is also broken as you can see because this bar is not showing 34 percent it's showing everything i fixed it already in my site but we didn't make a build for that so yeah. so she yeah she is still unhappy because of the sloan lies yeah, the, the zone is very big. It's a big empty room. And it, and of course, you might mean if you fill it up, it doesn't make a difference. It, just because uh, it just gets cr more crowded. And yeah. Your happiness doesn't improve. So, um, so employees feel cozier in smaller zones. It, so this it gives you an incentive to to make sm smaller, smaller structures uh, and interconnect them with logistics. The second thing you can see is like the skill points below the happiness and the skills. And we also show the inventory of the employees. Oh, now. Right, that's that's very nice. You can't steal from them currently. You um, can. You can. Yeah, this is still. You can get, make it. Try it. This is a bug. We show you a bug. You can put put things into the inventory but you cannot remove it anymore um that because yeah i, I forgot uh, one uh one check basically quick transfer but you can look into into the inventories and see what they are doing um and and uh, have more like debugging possibilities uh in case you see something's going wrong and yeah the skill points are needed to add skills to the employees and there's like a ton of skills that mark uh implemented so i don't have an overview over those but we can take a look at yeah, the peak at, at what's so, so yeah for example crafting expert electronics this gives you well ah right there are there are certain skills that uh, that the employees will need mm -hmm. in order to work at a certain table, like uh, like the advanced electronic table, it's need skill for it. And... The description of the first skill is wrong. It says 
exactly yeah so 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 um certain um tables will have uh, requirements for skills so uh you would have to have assembly i don't know no not, not the assembly one but i don't think if those skills are listed here um i think they are maybe maybe so in the talk but there are skills there are that, that are bespoke skills for being able to operate a certain table and other skills are more like um yeah giving giving the employees a boost um in, in speed or uh, certain certain areas for crafting these are all crafting uh skills that they and they also in increase the salary of the employee and they cost uh, skill points and they cost success points as well um, so i'll talk a little bit about the yeah how the player yeah how do you afford any skills that you want to assign to a to a, a new staff member like how, how do you earn skill points and things yeah skill points uh get uh given to employees when they do work basically when they interact with their equipment and their skill point meter slowly gets filled up so this is um kind of like yeah basically work experience right? employees that all that you hold for a long time in your company eventually get the opportunity to get better um, so this will give you an incentive to not hire and fire at will but try to keep your employees and 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 employees in which you have invested like skill points and skill points which, which equate time basically and success points which also are uh, need to be obtained uh, by achieving certain certain goals or certain things um and that gives you like like a connection to those to those employees in terms of uh, yeah you, if, yeah you, you don't feel attached but you kind of you don't want to hire your your employees that you already like leveled up of course there is there is still like there, there are there are uh, situations where you say okay I don't mind that I that I have this high highly skilled employee. In this situation, I just want want them to go because I have to save save my company from like bankruptcy or something. <clears throat> Do you want to talk a little bit about um, the benefits of happy staff? Why you would want yeah? What the sort of overall? We, obviously, there's new UI in the HUD, yeah, giving you overall company happiness. We can see that Dominic is finally trend. He's trending in the right direction. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I made my zone. And what the benefits really of that are? Uh, yes. So uh, the happiness. There is a global happiness score for your entire company, and this is calculated from uh, every employee basically. So the more employees you have, the higher your score can be. <laughs> Depends on uh, if the individual uh, happiness values of its employee. So we saw that the happiness of an employee goes from zero to 100%. And like 50% is like the meh mode, right? <laughs> like it's like, uh, I'm not okay. positive, not negative. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in pain. I'm neutral. I'm neutral, yes. And um, as soon as you drop below, um, oh, Fe Se Seppa, thanks for the host, <laughs> by the way. Um, and as soon as you, uh, as you drop below 50, that's like negative, that, that that uh, shows in your happiness score then, as a minus, minus, maximum minus one. So if you if you're at zero, you're at minus one. Per employee who has zero uh, percent on happiness, and for each employee who has 100 percent, you get one point, and everything in between, like you can get point one uh, happiness, global happiness score, or a 60 percent happiness. Employee. Oh, right, you're doing, doing the... Well, uh, decoration now also gives happiness. That's... Oh, yeah, right. And and we we recently added a little bubble, so you should see uh, a happiness bubble when... Oh, oh so there you go. Two, they are happy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. They also give you the reason why they are happy, because you placed some decorations. In... Oh, they are 
really. To be honest, who wouldn't be happy if you were standing next to a ginormous golden fish <laughs> mountain? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on your personality, I guess. <laughs> um, I'd like to work in a company that had a giant golden fish mountain, yeah, uh, you know, true. in the middle of the shop floor. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, this, this just shows shows the appreciation of, of leadership, right? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I made this for you. <laughs> Enjoy. She's unimpressed. She's unimpressed? Yeah, she's she's not working in the zone. Right? Yeah, she's not in the zone. <laughs> um, yeah, have you shown have you shown any off the yeah? You know, players can now get a breakdown of what is affecting staff, so they can see mm -hmm. you know what the positive benefits are, where any negatives might be, um, and factor that into their company planning. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, firing firing employees. <laughs> well, yeah, firing dampen, dampen fire, the mood. Yeah, firing. Uh, if you fire too many people, or if you fire a certain amount of people, then they get a temporary negative uh, bonus on on their on their happiness. Let's try that. But I wanted, wanted also wanted to to touch on the global happiness because this gains yeah. you um, success points per week, right? If your happiness score is is high, you get one one success point. Um, well, not one, but depending on the score. So if you get like your happiness is ten, I guess you get ten success points per week. Yeah, that's the factor at the moment, but. Yeah. Um... So we see. Yeah, we need to balance that as well. Um, I don't definitely want to touch on super quick for anyone not in the know because success points is another aspect of the game that is relatively new, not yeah. not super new. But right, um, yeah. so yeah, why why do I care about success points, Paul? Yeah, so success points became like like a general currency. It's like like similar to prestige or something. You can imagine that. And it is mostly used to unlock new uh, stuff in the biz dev tree. Uh, for example, new tables like like here, um, and new new technologies, new policies. Not not, not technologies. Technologies are researched, but um, basically policies and tables uh, get unlocked there. And later also skills. So skills also need to. Yeah, Mark Mark said it in the chat. Balancing is missing. And uh, yes, so this is one uh, important use for them. And the other important use is, of course, to skill, to, to add skills to employees. And I think we will have future systems which will also use the success points as a currency. Um, yeah, this will, maybe we should, we should start to talk about uh, Outlook, what's coming, because I see time is, is running. <laughs> I, I, I just spotted another question mark here. Oh yeah, these are these, these are called merger and splitter, and yeah, they will come in the next um, in the next update. Oh right, you can show them off right right now. Yeah, but they are broken. But you well, will see not them. broken, but they will be probably very different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mark asked yeah. if you need skills to operate tables. How does it does that affect the game flow? Well, you you have sort of a gating there, right? Um, you need to have the proper employees to operate um, operate certain tables. But if you hire them directly, um, the the um, the employees get generated anyway. So we don't want to block people from from using higher tier tables just because they don't have have the employees yet that would be counterproductive so we decided to generate the the employees um, with with the with the needed skills yeah and here you can see like like a, a splitter and the ui will change drastically i think because right now you will have to set ratios and pro uh, and priorities this will not be that that complex later on because we figured out another way to, to make it more accessible um, yeah. yeah this is the this is the truest peak behind the curtain right this is the this is so in progress it's likely to have evolved even again yeah. before uh, this will not it make next. it make it in the game actually this is something we already 
already said, okay, this is not how it's going to look. And actually, like like I always say when people ask me about the process of developing a good company, that we it feels like 75% of what we actually made got thrown out of the game in the end because it didn't work out with the game uh, game design. And yeah, we, we recently had had a little article in a magazine uh, making games and um, the article was called uh, Kill Your Darlings, which really applied in the company because we really killed a lot of things. <laughs> And it, it, it showed, it, it really made the game better. And it also a learning process. So let's see, where does it get split? I, I actually did 100% uh, splits. Okay. And into... okay. Yeah, the animation was wrong, but, but that's fine. We will have to look into this as well. Yeah. I'm kind of jab jumping back and forth with topics because Dominic is showing stuff and I'm talking about past. And seeing the future here and uh sorry if, if i'm confusing you <laughs> yeah and uh one thing i forgot about skills i think yeah happiness is also that that employees um are also affected in their uh, efficiency by happiness so this is another another aspect of happiness that is company Rest in peace is, uh, rest in peace, feature that we are killed in order to make the game better. That's how, that's how it goes. Uh, or so it goes. Yeah, so. the best features are built on the, the bones of, <laughs> yes, of yeah, the features yeah. that came before. Exactly. <laughs> that's a very good analogy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the to the conveyor changes. The, the, it's going to be a lot of work, but it will pay off. Now, because the big the big uh, problem was that you you can use conveyor belts to transport different types, like you can see here. It transports um, plastic and and plastic cases. You can mix them. It enforces the ratio you set here. Exactly. Yeah. So we our plan is to calculate the ratios for the player because um, if you set the ratios wrong the conveyor belts will clock eventually it's in inevitable and this is something we want to avoid we, want, we don't want players to struggle with this because every time you change something you also have to adjust the the ratios to your changes and those ratios need to be perfect and sometimes you don't even know how much um, demand there is in a certain at, at the end of a certain conveyor belt so sometimes it's even impossible to guess the right ratio, basically, that you're building. Uh, and this led to a lot of frustration. And more experienced players just, just don't mix stuff on conveyor belts. They just mm. say, okay, just put one item, one item per, per conveyor. And other games like Factorio do the same thing. They teach you um, just just use one, one type for a conveyor. But in our case, it's a little bit different because um, we have less space, and you have a lot of lot of tight spaces where you need to fit your conveyor belts. And also, machines have inputs that accept multiple item types, and we need to mix stuff on the conveyor belt. We we have no other choice. Our conveyor system is very different to those of uh, different uh, other production engines. So we figured out, okay, let's let's look into too loud. <laughs> it's very intense. In it's intense, I wrote, yeah. Styles. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's figure out for the player by the system which way, by which items are needed at the end of a conveyor belt. And then we propagate certain informations through conveyor belt networks. So it's easier to set up these these automa automated uh, production chains, and we came up with a solution. We need to we need to work out the nuances of that um, and the details, and and then we will we will implement this very soon. I think start next week, hopefully. Yeah. And yes, and then a lot of testing will happen. 
hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, in version 0.10 we will have Chisel. It's going to be exciting and it's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. But it's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Yeah. Um, did we cover all the... Did we cover everything? Yeah. Oh, there will be a big uh, employee panel thing. I'm working on and I almost finished work on it uh, and it, it's, it, not, it's not in there because it's, it's on a separate uh separate branch. feature branch but we did did we share screenshots I don't know we could show screenshots uh we, should, we could show show mock-ups which are very very close to what what's currently or in on my, my local machine in uh we need to go to X And then we need to share somehow. You shut some. Yeah, I see if we can yeah, just add another source. There it is. That's it. Show, right? Are we? Can you drag it into the same current window that you're viewing here? Or oh, just just uh, share the screen. We should just share the screen. Display capture. Display capture, yeah. That's it. Yeah, here, here you can see it. Um, this is a this is a mock-up done by Patrick, and you can see on the on the left side you see a big uh, list of employees, and you can sort it, you can filter it by by zone, by name, by skills, by salary, and you can select um, multiple employees and might make bulk operations on those. Uh, you can hire like a bunch of them. You can. For example, you can fire everyone in a zone. Uh, then there make is a unhappy. Yeah, make them make everybody else unhappy, <laughs> and uh, a, a assign them to routes in bulk or assign them to zones in bulk. Um, you can you have a workplace list as well, and workplaces contain tables, zones, and routes, and those you can filter as well. You can sort them, and you can also assign directly in this panel to. Um, uh, employees to two workplaces and you have to this very nice camera which is all already working yeah you can be very very rustic in, in this game now uh i what as soon as i implemented it i thought man this is really this is orwellian stuff here <laughs> but you know uh it's not nothing i mean these these things really exist right uh, employers uh surveilling um i'm not a fan of it but i mean it's in the game now <laughs> well you could watch them anyway so yeah that's true that's true so it, it's not not a, real, a very big statement and we don't have the the showers in yet yeah we don't have showers and toilets yet <laughs> they, they are actually modeled you have showers in assets yeah we also have a kitchen and and stuff but we don't have a way to yeah, here you can see a multi-selection. We would like to add them at some point, but I don't know how how, how, to, how those will mm. work with the current system. You can see assigning multiple employees to um, career routes. You can assign to multiple multiple employees to zones. You always see like like how many employees are all, already there. You can filter stuff. These these filters look. Pretty similar to to the filters you have in the Steam uh, shop, kind of got. I don't. Ah, I think they will work well. In this regard. Ooh. Yeah, should be familiar to to yeah to other interfaces that people will be familiar with. Um, yeah, in terms of functionality. Yes, exactly. So looking forward to this as well, and it's a, a lot of uh, quality of life features. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think um, that's roughly it. There are a lot of small improvements, of course. There will be also improvements in, in the campaign. Uh, I think we will need to tutorials a few things as well. Um, specifically the happiness and the skill stuff. And yeah, if you have any questions uh, in the chat, just post them and we'll try to answer them as good as we can. Um, yeah, James, do you have any questions, mate? <laughs> we'll start with you. Yeah, nothing directly from me. I don't know whether we want to tease at all. Um, yeah, obviously, the we're showing a lot of like in progress work. I don't know if we want to tease at all uh, any kind of like when people might want to you know keep an eye out for uh, updates. Obviously, we don't want to announce any dates yet, but uh, time frames perhaps. Yeah, well, time frame would be great. What what did we say this morning? Like June, something about around June. I think it's June. Seems yeah. Right. Um, not not no not ready to know. We don't know which day of June yet, but uh, it will be somewhere, somewhere in this area. So yeah, there's a, there's a month frame, and usually when game developers say June, it's end of June. But I don't know, maybe maybe we can be mid to end June probably. Chat. So yeah, yeah. And if people are interested in public testing, anyone who's not in the Discord, uh, I guess they can join Discord community and they can get insight into when builds go up for public test, and uh, yeah, and get sneak peeks early and offer thoughts and direct feedback on actual playable builds of the game. Yeah, oh, it's and, always useful. And 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 on that note, uh, big big compliments and thank you to our community helped out uh, identifying problems, and they are always very helpful. They always send us. Uh, screenshots and, and save games and logs and it, and it really really helps us out uh, finding issues and fixing them and and I always feel bad when we don't get to fix everything at once because you know somebody puts a lot of effort to uh, pointing out an issue and I I always have to have to juggle stuff and, and see uh, what's what's the higher priority and yeah we are a small team we try to try to um you know answer to everything and try try to to fix every problem but we have to look at the bigger things first of course so, um, big thank you again i, I can't stress it enough <laughs> mm. and it's all, always fun to interact with with people in order. It's, it's very wholesome oh cool yeah, so, uh, as I said, if you have any questions, if you want to know something, um, post it in the chat. We try to answer it. Short QA session, uh, if you want. Other than that, I think we are through with the content. Yeah. And um, I've, I've got another question. This is directly oh. for Dominic. I'm I'm very confused, Dominic. What you were going for in this setup as well? I feel I feel <laughs> I feel twice now. I'm like. <laughs> This is my chance of getting that wonderful insight into into oh. the world's greatest company, <laughs> and I'm. It doesn't look I like it. Yet. You're making you're making some money, I, I assume. You're selling cases. It looks like. Yeah, I'm making a little plus, of 162. <laughs> uh, no, this is a modest setup. In this case, I, I don't know. I just started uh, producing some module, uh, and then I made the zone so small that it didn't have uh, the delivery area inside of it. So I had to add a, add a little uh, courier route, but still. So there's no no grand plan here. It's um, it's just to, to show off happiness, uh, skill points, which are creeping along. Yeah. Yeah, this is also, this also needs, needs some balancing. Uh, we don't know how quickly employees should uh, should gain uh, experience points yet we need to figure yeah. out also the cost costs and the whole uh, how much yeah how much uh, skills cost and how much they increase the salary of the employee. still something we need to figure out we we'll probably the balancing will be probably happening over the course of several updates several patches 
Oh, the salary is already done. Okay, Mark, Mark already figured out uh, a smart way to to uh, balance this. I'm always I'm always um, astonished how yeah the, the 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 work that Mark puts into balancing it really. Yeah, I'm, I'm so a lot blown. of a lot of Excel sheets and numbers. Yeah, he 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 really gets it with the numbers. He's really good at this stuff. Unless you mess up every skill at game. Oh, okay. Skills. Adding skills. Yes, so. Should be in the game. So, um, yeah. yeah. At, in the end, if you add a skill, it should always profit your company. There is no. Yeah. There shouldn't be like, like a, a weird skill combination that messes your. Profit. I mean, you can make very weird and contrary choices, but that's going to be exciting. I, d I haven't played the game with the skills yet and happiness, but yeah. And uh, Mark also asked how many carrots uh, ate this week. We ate one carrot today. Right. We made a salad, so we shared a carrot basically. <laughs> I'm very surprised that there's actually an answer to this question. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I probably ate more than one carrot in this week because I, because it's 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 when, uh, it's uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Yes, I always mix in those two day two days. It sounds awesome. Um, I probably ate three carrots. That answers your question. But not sure about Dominic. I'm not monitoring his diet. <laughs> I think uh, this was my first carrot this week. Oh, okay. okay. Today. Oh, here's the answer. Three, one. I win. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this was a right it's development. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff happened the last year. Oh, sorry if I mispronounce your name. Hi, Yonan. Yonan? Yonan. I think uh, I know that name. It's uh, Game Jams, the Global Game Jam. Oh, Global Game Jam participant. Interesting. Recognize that. Good evening. Ah, very cool. Okay. What game did he do? What did he make? Do you remember? Um. I, I I sometimes forget what games we did. <laughs> yes. Um, airport luggage chaos game. Ah, right. That was it. Yeah. A lot of lot of fun stuff. Uh, the games people make on this game are very fun. Oh man, I miss those game jams. Pandemic really really hurts. <laughs> So you continuing building stuff? Yeah, just showing off. Mm. Well, that's my my basic uh, testing setup is to have three. I still have the the, the feeling that we forgot something. Something is missing. I didn't pretty show sure. show something. Yes. Oh, what, in terms of this uh, body of work, whether there's anything we haven't touched on. Yes, there's, yes. There's one extra thing we have, I don't think we've talked about, which is uh, people might notice if they're looking at uh, this company setup that Dominic's making, now that we have different staff types. All right. Oh, yes, of course. Now I see it. <laughs> um, the, the employees have working clothes now. Um, yeah, they all are... Depending on their on their uh, job type, which uh, which are divided into uh, logistics, careers, uh, research, and production, they have different colored uniforms. This courier, for example, she has like a overall. The production people are uh, red, orangeish, orange, red. Uh, work zone logistics are yellow. And research people are white and with a tinge of blue. 
so you can category. easily identify who's doing what. Let's see. Looks like a cook. Game looks cute. Thank you very much. There it is. buddy. What engine are we using? We are using Unity for the front end. The game is divided in a front end part and a back end part. The back end part is a lot of C code without any graphics. C. C, of course, yeah. And the front end is in Unity. And we have like like a very tight interface between those two. And I'm mostly dabbling in Unity, making all the things. He's making all the intelligent stuff <laughs> behind the curtains. Although he's he's the machinist and I But we, we recently uh did we did we put put the infographic live? Oh yes we did. We 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 tweeted it. Yeah, and there there was uh Num lines of code for C sharp and for C plus plus and C sharp was way more, so you're doing way more work. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Um, the, the, I don't, I don't know if the, those numbers are correct. Yeah, it, it uh, was a bit astonishing. I, I don't know if that's true. I, I mean, we, I, we also have a few, a few third party bundles, and I think they'll also contribute. To me, and uh, because yeah. it's like tenfold the time, yeah, uh, the, 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 the code volume, and I don't believe it's true. Uh, Mark also pointed out that we could mention the guy who's messing the, up the complete balancing by adding new data types. Of course, yes, <laughs> we could mention this as well. We will add new data types uh, to the game. Right now, there's one data type, and now we are going for a more structured uh, progression in terms of research, because right now we can just unlock everything. Um, oh, here is already... Oh, here's already a, da a, a new data type, yes. Um, you need different types for different uh, technologies, and they they are also tiered. They are also like to represent a, a progression. Um, so you kind of... Yeah, it's not like everything is open, everything is goes. You have to. There is a, more of an order to think. Um, yes. Um, what else? Uh, adding. Oh, changing recipes, adding every component and modules to machines, and some changes to free play settings are coming. Yes. We will have new, new free play settings. I didn't look into those uh, changes. I know that they are coming. I forgot what those changes are. What, what, the, what, the set, what are the new settings for free play? No. I remember that Mark added something. And he first reduced them and it was only <laughs> difficulty setting. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you can, of course, yeah, there's another balancing change from Mark. Uh, that you can build all the components for like the the the, the, uh, the, the, the intermediate building steps uh, for for modules on every table that av available everywhere. So you don't have to. When it comes to components, you don't have to rely on certain uh, table types. You can just t take a tinker table, but they are slower than. <laughs> C -sharp. A question about plans for co-op, looks like. Yes, we do have plans for co-op. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have. Multiplayer is definitely something that will come. Yeah. Because we advertised the game with multiplayer, with co-op multiplayer. And we we are working on it in parallel. So yeah. it is uh, is a good, good progress. But uh, it will definitely not in the near future no no um we want to work as long on it as long as possible actually to make it like really good uh because it's it's like the, the unique selling point of the game like the management game with with multiplayer is not that common architect uh, architect 
recently they had added an update go up build your park and this is something we with more features in, in their collaboration uh yes so there will also be a new roadmap we have we have this old roadmap on our website and on steam on the steam page but we will have to make amends to this one um because yeah things changed the schedule changed and uh also the the plan features changed a little bit so there will be i think next week we will reveal a good company somebody asked coin coin purse asked uh, how many things you can research so i we switch to the research it's I don't know. How many things you can read? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so these are all modules market. you can build into your product. So this is like quite a lot. We have the co how many categories? One, two. No, not nine. Ten. Yeah, it looks like Mark's popped some additional stats into the chat for anyone who's interested. So these are the, the research uh, projects. Then we have. Hundred additional modules? Is that true? Eleven or products. Yeah, new products. Uh, products. Different products that you can progress through. Okay, and then... six modules, six are unlocked at start. Yeah, okay. Business development includes a lot of buildables and policy. <laughs> yeah, Fionan Fjur says, uh, reminds me a bit of industry giant, industry gigant, I think. It's a German game, right? Yeah. I, I, I heard of it, I, but, I, but I don't have a screenshot in mind when I think of the name. I, the name is Austrian. Okay. Österreich. Lots of lots of products, and you could build and combine to make complex products that you sell in here. Okay. Industry gigant. I didn't play it, I, but but I know the name. It's it's it rings a bell. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I mean, we need to check it out. Actually, I I should. Mark seems to know. I think I haven't played it. No. A classic. Cool, okay, I think we've covered everything. Uh, what do you think, James? Yep, I think that is pretty much everything for, uh, yeah, the sneak peek of what is coming up. So uh, yeah, everyone needs to stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll have more to share about future updates as we move forward. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as always, uh, join us on Discord, uh, drop by, ask all your questions. We are happy to answer them. And we are also on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, the Twitter handles of a regular corporation and chasing carrots. Uh, see there uh, below uh, James. <laughs> and we are also on Reddit. If you like to go a little bit deeper and share your company setups or or values, uh, Mark recently just uh, posted the. Uh, 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 Excel sheet with all the values for yeah. the for the connections and this is more something for for number nerds but there are a lot of number nerds in our in our community and they are all welcome uh, so thank you very much for watching and thank you james for dropping by and uh yeah supporting us it's, it's yeah been no pleasure. worries no worries at all uh yeah no always lovely to chat to you guys and uh yeah see more uh, from behind the curtain of uh, good companies development yeah so cheers everybody yeah cheers, cheers. have a good one bye take care